Today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's word so I would become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I am God's beloved, I am God's servant, I am God's powerful champion, and I am God's awesome kid. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Kids, are you ready? Let's worship!
it is Sunday and it is another awesome kids time with you Wow how time flies we are in our last talk of Matthew did you have fun learning about his gospel during this past 26 months I hope you did for talk 8 we will cap our gospel of Matthew with the most historical event of human history the resurrection with our big message your story is not over kids I have something to show you you may be familiar with this as you may have seen this from time to time this is a stump in particular a stump of a tree this is what was left of the tree after the tree has fallen down or was cut off why am I showing this to you because Brother Bo has a beautiful story and message about this. I will share it with you later. So look forward to it, okay? But before that, let us go back to our study of the book of Matthew. Kids, do you know that there are two groups of people that followed Jesus during his time? We always think that followers of Jesus were only the ordinary men like his 12 disciples. But today, we will learn that the kingdom of God also includes these two groups, women and the rich. Let's read the gospel, shall we? And many women who had come from Galilee with Jesus to care for him were watching from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of James and John, the sons of Zebedee. Here is another reading. As evening approached, Joseph, a rich man from Arimathea, who had become a follower of Jesus, went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate issued an order to release it to him. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a long sheet of clean linen cloth. He placed it in his own new tomb, which had been carved out of the rock. Then he rolled a great stone across the entrance and left. Both Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting across from the tomb and watching. So you see kids, these two groups of people had important roles during the death and resurrection of Jesus. Are you surprised? If this happened today, it may not be that surprising. But during Jesus' time, most rabbis had only male students or disciples. However, only Rabbi Jesus had both men and women disciples. A radical thing during that time because women were not so usually taught. They were supposed to just stay at home to take care of babies and be quiet. But Jesus saw women as equals. For him, women are God bearers. Remember during his crucifixion? Who were there with Jesus? saw him suffer and die and be buried. His mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, and another Mary. And where were the male disciples? They were hiding. While the apostles were fearful, the women were faithful. Women many times are braver than men. Would you agree? If you do, please share with the person beside you moments when you think women are braver than men. Likewise, the kingdom of God also includes the rich. Remember how Jesus told his disciples that it's more difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom than a camel to enter the eye of a needle? Well, Matthew, who was a rich man, was a follower of Jesus. So perhaps camels can indeed enter needles. In ancient Israel, Almost 90% of the people are poor. But do you know Joseph of Arimathea? He is one of the very few who are part of the top 1% of society who enjoyed political and religious powers. Joseph was the one who used his wealth and power in order to take down Jesus from the cross and brought Jesus to his own new tomb. And during that time, if you own a tomb carved out of rock, you may be really wealthy. But you know what? Joseph of Arimathea, despite his political power and wealth, gave up all of this 
because he considered Jesus more important than his wealth. How about you kids? Can you make Jesus as your wealth? Now let's go back to the tree stump. Are you ready now to hear Brother Bo's story? This is about a beautiful tree in Brother Bo's neighborhood. He would see this beautiful tree during his daily walks. He considered the tree special because it had two branches like raised arms worshiping God. But one day, while he was walking, oh my, he saw that the tree was gone. Someone had cut down the tree and that was left was its short, ugly, and dead-looking stump. And for a while, that is there it was. But you know what, kids? Three months later, something strange happened. On the stump, something on its left side had grown. It was a tiny green shoot breaking out of its hard bark. The tree was alive. Months later, the green shoot formed a small branch and later on that small branch became a big branch. Fast forward six years later, the tree was even bigger than before it was cut down. Amazing, isn't it? So why this story? Kids, a stump could be the same as a tomb. Both are not nice. Don't you agree? When Jesus died, he was laid on a tomb. Like an ugly stump, he was there, lifeless. It must have been really very hard for Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see Jesus in that tomb. In our life, we also experience hardships. Our dreams being crushed, cut off, and buried. Our world today seems to be in a dark tomb as well, with a pandemic and now the conflicts happening in Europe. But you know, kids, in the middle of this darkness, the gospel proclaims, Suddenly, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside a stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was lying. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I've told you. Kids, from the tomb, Jesus walked out of it. There may be many things that look like ugly stumps in your life today. Things may look hopeless and our world may look dark. It may appear that evil is winning today. But remember that behind all this, Jesus is there for us. Despite all the wrongs happening in our world, there is still goodness and kindness happening around us, spreading throughout the world. Kids. Are you feeling discouraged, sad, or frustrated? Do you have a dead, ugly stump in your life right now? Be courageous as the women disciples. Bring Jesus into your tomb like the rich Joseph of Arimathea. If you find yourself asking God, Lord, I pray a lot, but why did I still fail my test? I did good deeds, but why are bad things still happening to me? Why doesn't anybody like me? Always try to remember the story about the ugly stump. The ugly stump in your life is not the end. It's the beginning of something beautiful. Just as the stump has grown a branch, Jesus has risen from the tomb and is alive. Kids, whatever stump you may have in your life, you have Jesus. He is your branch and he is telling you, your story is not over. Oops, it's still not over, kids. Teacher Avon comes next with an amazing activity for you. Enjoy! Bye! Hi! 
Happy Sunday, awesome kids! Teacher Aban here. I am excited to be doing today's activity with you. Can you guess what we will be doing? We will be making a tome art craft. But before that, let's review the talk today. Teacher Hazel shared with us the story of the resurrection which started when Jesus was laid in a dark tomb after the crucifixion. But Jesus' story did not end there, in the tomb where everyone believed he was dead. The resurrection happened. Jesus rose from the dead, defeated the devil, and came out of the tomb. Just like in that story, even though you may think that you are in a very dark or problematic or sad situation right now, remember that your story does not end there. God has greater plans for you, dear awesome kids. As our big message for you today says, Your story is not over. It is not over until your own resurrection comes because Jesus will always give your story a happy ending. So, for our activity today, we will create something that will remind us of your lesson. All you need are a pair of scissors, tape, a brad, coloring supplies, and the printed template for our activity. You may ask your parent or guardian to assist you in making this. To start, print the activity templates on white paper. Next, cut out the different parts of the template. After doing that, you may color or design a scene around the tomb. You can opt to draw animals and people around it. You may also color the picture of Jesus. On one of the circular templates, write the reasons why you sometimes feel that you are in the dark or away from the light of God. Set this aside. Now, cut out the hole in the middle of the song template. Then, take the circular template where you wrote the reasons when you are in the dark and cover the hole, then tape it at the back. Remember to score or put a small hole on your paper for the bread so you can have an effect where you can roll away the stone. Next, glue the printed picture of Jesus into the extracircular template and place it over or on top of the hole of the tomb. Then fasten it with the bread. This will remind you that Jesus can cover all the darkness in your life. The happy ending in your life story is in his how did you like your activity today kids share your output with us feel free to post your photo or video in the comment section of the fifth pacc am awesome kids ministry fp page we will wait for it good job today awesome kids as always keep safe and stay healthy Let's get ready to thank God by putting ourselves in His holy presence. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for our work and play. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that we have learned today. Send forth all the saints and guardian angels to guide us on our way. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye! See you next Sunday. Stay safe. God bless you. Why can't you?